This video is about the potential divider circuit. Now, remember that later on because we're going to refer to that. I've got a circuit diagram here and the apparatus here. Let's just compare the two. We have the supply voltage, that's the two 1.5 volt cells here, and the potential difference is being measured by this voltmeter here, shown by V1 in the circuit diagram. And that potential is being applied between here and here across a resistor, R1 plus R2, and the total of that is 1000 ohms, 1k ohms. Now, we're going to apply a proportion of that voltage between this sliding contact in the center there and the zero line, and we're applying that across this bulb, and the voltage across that is being measured by this voltmeter, and that is V2. So, let's see what happens when we move this central point. So we're moving it along the resistor, and we're therefore changing the values of R1 and R2, although the sum of them is always going to be 1000 ohms. All right, let's move it. Now for a start, you can see it's not linear, but let's reduce it now to almost zero. The bulb is still off, but if I move it very carefully upwards, we're now applying 0.5, just under 0.5. It's very, very delicate, this. So we've got about 0.2 of a volt, still not enough to light the bulb. Just a little bit more. We're getting 0.93 of a volt across the bulb. There's a slight drop, by the way, in V1. But now, that voltage across the bulb, V2, is approximately one third of the total, V1. And how do we get it from our circuit diagram? Well, this proportion, R2, of the total R1 plus R2, is about, as I said, a third of V1. So the voltage here is R2 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by V1. If I now move the sliding contact a little bit more, well, we're slightly over half of that now. So now we've still got the same proportion R2 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by V1. And that comes to 1.66 volts. And that is a little bit more, admittedly, than half of this. Well, let's go on. We're now applying almost the whole of the potential V1 to the bulb. And that would mean that R2 is a much bigger fraction of R1 plus R2 than it was to start with. Almost, in fact, the whole of R1 plus R2. We're applying almost the whole of V1 across the bulb. And I said at the beginning, this is called a potential divider circuit because we're dividing the potential V1 between R2 and R1, between the two parts of this variable resistor. But the total input potential is essentially constant throughout. It's V2 that is varying. So hence the name potential divider.